Hey baby, welcome back to this week's The Movement. I'm your host, Josh Doey. Do pagan words scare you? Shaman. Oh, gotta scare Jesus up out the room because Sam Altima's speed is ungodly. You might have recognized him from Shaman, the Tangerine Danish Dream, bringing you his own spin-off movie, Harmonious. Speed, skill, style, send. This man is the SPL podium himself. Stand on him, he could probably hold it. Marathon lines, busting five fours off the bouncy wall. Not like he needed the bounce. He's got enough hops to shut down the damn brewery. Just hope he doesn't have IPA. Irreversible patella agony. I know some of you feel seen by that. No wall is for Sam. He's past that. Only contact he's making for the wall is for these massive tax. That's right. Tax season may be on the way, but Sam's doing that shit year round with big returns. That shit got me ready to move, but not before I make another stop on the show reel line. Bing bong. Hand on foot. I have never seen that letter before in my life. Super B. Hand over foot. Hand over foot, I speak German now. By Levin Pelkofer. Smetterling. That's butterfly. Off the bat, police dude's telling you he's ready to come in two minutes. And I'm way ahead of him. I busted months ago. When I saw this ridiculous plyo bounce back in Neo fight. You think I was ready to see it again so soon? This dude Levin Tates. Look at that airtime. Doesn't matter if it's a roof coping either. That's PK's original percussive instrument. Ba ba ba. And we're kicked off the spot because everybody heard us. And now some instrumental knowledge for the kids. If you got bounce backs like this, entry cost is paid for big boy gaps. 10,000 bounce backs to get into the salty spittoon or else you're stuck listening to Axis Theory with me at the Weenie Hut Jr. Disgusting. Great year for leaving. Renee Scavington's been through a good year and some crazy bad ones. That freak Achilles tear that he went through has made me more aware of the tendons in my body than any other moment in parkour history. Every time I think about it, I gotta knock on wood. That dude has been through two or more career-ending injuries and he's still out here slaying it. This video resilient popped out the oven six years old. Teeth, hair, linguistic faculties capable of forming full sentences, telling you stories. Tell me the last video you saw that's been cooking for longer than six months. I'll wait. The urge to post a clip? Worse than Frodo in Mount Doom. Post the clip. Shut the fuck up, Golem. I got a stack right now. Renee's hitting triple step balls, not even letting that bald man stop you. Or a 64-year-old man telling you he can do a 200 meter in 30 seconds. I don't even know if that's impressive. The first athlete to ever make the Foo Fighters work in a video and not a single shot of a sunset. That's hard work. Whole thing was a journey. Speaking of Frodo in the ring, we got precious by the beans. Taking a different kind of pace. Namaste. Avant-garde of a completely different mindset. I was there for the two-minute shot of the mountains. I took an edible and those rippling movements sent me to Teletubby land. And that's when I started crying. Beautiful moments of PK homies, especially for those with a long attention span like myself. And we got a whole Axis workshop at the end. Instilled a very peaceful vibe in me. You could tell. I'm not yelling. Even got a little Boro surprise at the end with a couple eggy bangers. Speaking of Eggie Banger, check that out. Make twist my nipples. What the hell was that? Dom update. He farted and he wants everybody to know it. He also hit a 720 over water and he sticks things. Dom update over. Hey, worth a mention, it's fairly obvious that Ed Scott's been killing it for a minute now. If the difficulty of the things he was hitting at SPL was hard to process, I'll kindly point you over to his recent Bristol compilation where he does side to splat on flat wall at height. I just didn't want you to forget that man's still on top. Sometimes we forget to look up when we're looking for micro features. Keeping things British, I sat down for the full 40 minutes of one year of yard and gotta say, I think that I need to go and make a DIY undercover spot for Vancouver now. Really cool how a DIY spot basically turned into a revolving door for parkour training and breeds some new life in the London scene. Props to Super XXL for making that happen. They also got some great casual vlogs if your day's full of too much work and not enough training. You can feel like you're hanging out with the homies. It's visualization training. It has value. Hope I get to visit the spot when I come through Rotherham for Project Underground 11, dude. March 22nd and 24th, where I'll be emceeing alongside Project Next Gen's Max Ward. All the England come through. King Charles is gonna throw a double back. I bet you it'll be <laughs> it could be the last thing he ever does. It's gonna be another guaranteed banger. Bill Doyle, Lisa Schneider, George McGowan on the judging panel. You're not gonna be disappointed, especially with Liam Norbury's funky skill challenges. If you're looking for training motivation, Ezzy Schroer's Mega Manor video sandbox will get you out of the house and splurging on walls instead of on sails. Guaranteed bangers manor. Easily mind-boggling Ezzy. We are in for a treat. He's the secret video game character with all the stats turned up to 11. Beyond stoked for that. After that, the comments will also be hosting Jules' upcoming video February 14th. Valentine's Day. 
How lovely. You don't even need to get your girl chocolate. Just dazzle her with these movement choices. Remember 10 months ago? This little foot tap? The untwisty godly goodness? The ridiculous spatial awareness? Same guy's been doing double gainers since he was like 12. He's on some other shit now. Ascended the game. This course has been announced happening in LA April 5th to 7th. Last year I had what may have been my best session ever. I'm not saying you will. I'm saying you can. Nothing's guaranteed. Life's one big lottery. And be there. If that's too soon fest mind the slovakian swag squad has announced spes fest august 23 to 25th you heard that right last year the event came out of nowhere this year they're giving you at least half a year's warning no excuses come stretch your legs and get flowy with our spaghetti leg style overlords you've been notified make arrangements spl update <laughs> We all know it was coming, but now it's confirmed. Speaking of plans, sounds like Kippa Meg 6 is on the way. The Titty Mega Parkour. Really cool kind of literature to have around the house, actually. Makes me feel quite cultured. Hopefully Kevin gets his work done before he goes to Gizmo. April 27th to 28th. Heard there might be a live stream happening this year. Maybe not. It's all rumors. Worst case scenario, if you look hard enough, some rando is going to be live streaming it on their IG live. That's how I watched it last year. It was kind of nice, actually. Saw the whole event that way. Made a few friends in the chat. Full recap of the 2020 event is now available on the gizmo battles youtube channel as well as individual uploads of each 1v1 battle in case you had no idea what i was talking about this is a competition for non-mainstream parkour styles emphasis on flavor jan schlappen's emceeing made me reconsider a lot of things the energy he injected into that event on top of memorable events like christian's death dives or shirai and valtteri's single banger showdown standing kartahara versus front to punch wall dive roll I I was screaming. Entry themes, sparkle suits, schmixy, rhythmic mindfuckery I have dreamed of seeing in competition. Thank you, Matt McCreary. Cannot wait to see what you have in store for this year. And those spotlights made it different. Felt like I was watching a session on the 20th Century Fox sign. The only people who could actually make that happen would be Team Fat. And even if they break their heel doing it, they'll make a whole mini doc about it. Probably upload it to YouTube too. Just like this video they put out. Great insider view on the process, as they always do speed power belief impact ow fuck my heel hey might help you take drops like that if you sign up for kadori's impact program that he just recently announced turns out it's not just genetics that impact guide is coming soon so drop in <laughs> to his ig and stay tuned for more and in the present parkour god max henry's been dropping jewels on the gram ever seen that dude train casually it's like watching a mythical beast he's also got Three. reasons to work on cranes just in case modern parkour meme culture has you thinking it stick bounce back or the whole internet laughs at you obama included you know what obama's not laughing at our bail of the week this man survived my nightmare <laughs> if that's the worst thing that can happen, let's do one on a power line. Unlimited power! Gonna need a little more power on this Yukemi fly away half. <laughs> He's back! And I'm back in a rabbit hole of old Sora videos. That's it for this episode of this week's The Movement. Big thank you to our patrons. Shout out to our big boss baby, parkourhistory.com. Thank you to our swag lords, our homies. If you want to support the show a little bit more, you can head on over to our Patreon. We got some new exclusive content coming, in, including a video of my early stylistic influences. If you're trying to save money and you still want to support the show, please go ahead and share this show because it is the only way that it will be seen on the internet. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you. Bye.